everyone, thank you so much for tuning back to Urban Tropical. Today, I wanted to talk about Tetra Pinax specifically before you plant it. So if either you have just planted it or you are thinking of planting it, I really hope that this video is quite useful. The time I planted one, I didn't know much about this plant. All I thought it looked amazing and I planted it, which it has been around, I would say, eight years. It gave me no hard time until last year. And there are certain things you can do so that you still have this stunning looking plant, but at the same time, you can avoid all these issues. So me, without talking too much, I'm just gonna dive deep into it and see how you can prevent the issues I'm having. I was so excited last year when I showed this video. If you are new to my channel, I'm just going to put up the link. First time my Tetra Pnax was producing runners and I was so excited. I mean, if you look at this one, it's quite congested. It's got plants to the left and right and then it has got really good edging, which is quite solid. Maybe just under or around a foot deep mix of sand and a cement. I mean, I didn't know that at the time I did the edging because I have had never a problem about the runners. But last year, it shoot up so many runners and runners really look like this. So this is the root which really is going to spread along the other side of the garden and start to shoot up more pups. So all this damage which I had last year, I just thought, okay, we are done with it. At the same time, I really didn't think much of it. I thought it's fine. All these ditches where the Tetra Pinex runners were, I had dug them up. And then I was thinking, okay, I'm good to go. And my excitement was over as well, to be honest, the time I did it. This year, I have just come back from a holiday and this is what I see. My lawn, which of course needs to be cut, but I see all these heads popped up. And all I was thinking, oh my God, not again, because they really destroy your lawn. The last thing I want is more runners to pop up. So my husband, when he cut the lawn, he really dug them up and you can see all the ditches. This one is left and I need to, so this, this is the old ditch, which is right there. They're still unrepaired. And now you can see how far the runners is actually going. That's how far they can spread. And all I am thinking is, I just don't know how many more of these ditches I'm going to have. I mean, the best way would be for me to dig all the way up and follow the line, but that's a lot of work to figure out where the runners are coming from, but that will help me save my loan. So I am going to really think about it, how I want to do it. So I was Googling up and then I came across someone who had same problems as me and they have got root barrier. So you can see with the root barrier, it still managed to come across the other side. I mean, that's unbelievable. If you end up having invasive invasive one, I just think once it starts, there is no going back. At the same time, I will still have this plant. There is no way I think that it's not worth having it because it's invasive. It's not as bad as bamboos. I mean, bamboos are much worse. So what could I have done if I could go back? So there are actually two or op three options I would consider. First, I will put it in a raised bed. I can avoid all the issues. Second one, I read this one that you can have a really big pot, dig a hole, put it in the ground, and all the drainage holes are still in the pot that stops the runners at least restricts the runners on top you can still use a root barrier i mean the example i showed had a root barrier and it still didn't work unless the root barrier wasn't deep enough i really think that a root barrier should be at least two foot maybe even more i don't think you can buy maybe bigger sizes than that but i just think it has to be really solid work or you can also opt for just in a pot or you can also opt for to dig a really big trench and fill it with the cement mixture and at least you know you have done the solid work so there are quite a few options i would no way say that this plant is not worth it it's just an amazing plant to have but i just think a tiny bit of research before you plant something can be really handy which i really didn't know at all please do share your comments if it was useful and please do subscribe for further videos thank you so much bye bye